Is it a crepe? Is it a pizza? Or is it a taco? Ooh. Hey, what's up everyone? Right now I'm at one of my favorite street food places, Patanam in Bangkok, Thailand. And I came across this store that just specializes in crepes. They have so many different types of crepes. I don't know if they're pizzas or crepes. So I'm gonna go check out what they have. They have like crepes with kind of like a pizza with cheese and ham. And then they've got, of course, your traditional Nutella and banana crepes. So they've got different sauces. They've got chili, tomato sauce, mayonnaise. So it's really up to you. You can put anything in there. Look how big this is. It's so huge. How am I going to finish this? Whoa, it's really like a large size pizza being folded. This is so interesting because it's got so many different ingredients in there that you don't usually have in a crepe. You know, normally the crepe are just like a sweet dessert. You, you have it with Nutella and bananas and maybe some syrup. But this is interesting. This is a crepe with egg, sultanas, dried minced pork, which a lot of Asians use to eat with their rice or their, their porridge. And then they've got some cashew nuts and then the, all the sauces. You've got ketchup, you've got hot sauce, and you've got mayonnaise. I mean, that is something I've never heard of in a crepe. This crepe is serious. I, I, I still don't know if it's a crepe or a pizza. It seems more of a savory item than a dessert, than a usual crepe. But that's what intrigued me so much. That's why I had to give it a go. It's so hot too, because he just made it on the spot. It's like really, really warm. I can feel it. He's, he gave me like two pouches and some napkins, and it's still so hot. So let's, let's give it a taste and see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh my God, that is so weird. See, the crepe itself is so sweet. And I can taste the raisins really sweet and those sauces and it's just so weird it's just you know you got some spicy and then you got some ketchup it's just really weird and then that shredded pork the dried shredded pork that's a little bit salty you've got all these salty and sweet items colliding together it's very interesting i don't know about that hot sauce with this I don't know if it does it any justice. It kind of throws it off a little bit. But all in all, it's actually pretty interesting. I really enjoy that shredded dry pork. This crepe itself is nice and crispy. I just really love crispy stuff. Mm. All these flavors are just contradicting each other. Like, no, I'm sweet. No, I'm salty. No, I'm sweet. I'm salty. It can't make up its mind. And my taste buds can't make up its mind. I don't think it's for everyone because it's very, very weird. It's kind of like getting a pizza and getting a sweet crepe and just blending it and then drinking it. That's how it would taste like. It's all these different flavors that you don't usually eat together inside one item. That's kind of what it tastes like. I don't dislike it, but I don't know it's something that I would come back for, but it's definitely interesting. It's definitely something that is worth a try. Some people might love it. Some people might think it's really delicious, but a lot of people do come here and stick with the traditional sweet crepe. Because I'm an adventurist, I took it a little bit further and go, you know what, I'm gonna try something different. That's something that's different on the menu. And what intrigued me is that it looked like a pizza. And I was like, that's not something that I see every day. And these ingredients are not something that I would see inside a crepe. So I had to give it a shot. And it's definitely worth trying. It's very, very interesting. Mm. And that casual nut gives it a really nice crunch. Nice cashews, crunchy. The raisins are nice and soft, juicy. You can really taste the egg in there as well. And that's just nice and fluffy, kind of like a, a scrambled egg inside your crepe. The dried pork, I really enjoy that dried pork. It's kind of a little bit crunchy as well. Very dry and very flavorful, full of pork flavor. I love dried pork on its own. I can just eat it like that. And inside a crepe, it's definitely something else. If you're in the Patanam area, if you see the crepe ones, you give it a go. They've got so many different types. If you're more of a sweet tooth, go for the ones with the sweets because they have different types of sweets as well. They've got so many different flavors, so many different toppings. If you're a little bit more adventurous, I want to give something different a try. You know, the ones that kind of look like a pizza and actually have like a pizza one as well. There's one with cheese and ham. This one is a little bit mixed in between, kind of sweet and pizza-ish. Otherwise, not bad. That was one of the most fulfilling crepes I've ever had and the most interesting by far. I don't think I've ever had a pizza 
crepe before. <laughs> I could say that, that had a pizza crepe. If you come to Bangkok, make sure you come to the Patanam area. This is one of my favorite places for street food because there's so much happening, so much food going on. Until next time, remember, you've only got one life. Live it.